But uh, now that I've got that, I went ahead and projected all the outside edges of, uh, of the bottom of this component. Uh, and I'm just going to use my offset tool to give myself a little bit of an offset. And then determine exactly what I want that offset to be. I want it to be five millimeters. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to take that inner profile and cut some material away from the bottom of this part. So I'll just call it my extrude command again. Now rather than just typing in some sort of arbitrary dimension uh, and have it be static, um, I want to build a relationship between this cut uh, and my initial feature, uh, uh, my e initial extrude feature. So I'll just say show dimensions. Uh, instead of typing in a dimension, I'll hit the arrow that says show dimension. Uh, click that and then actually grab the parameter. Even though I didn't name the parameter, which you know, some 3D modeling application, you got to you got to you got to be able to reference it on, uh, you know, by typing it in. Here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say uh, that one. I haven't named it yet, but I want that one. Uh, and we'll just say um, that one plus uh, or that one minus uh, four and a half millimeters, something like that. And it's gonna be a cut. Okay, and now I've got that material removed from the bottom of my part. Now I could have, I could have done a shell, I could have done some other things, um, but uh, I was really trying to, 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 to prove a point about the dynamic or the, or the on the fly dimension referencing. So I'll just drag my end apart down and, and hey, look at that. I, was, uh, I didn't lose the, uh, all, of the, all of that work, the three clicks that it took me to create that hole, um, but I was able to kind of um, just on the fly, hey, pause, wait a second, go back, and then uh, and then reset that, that particular feature. So I'm doing good, pretty good so far here. So I want to go ahead and add uh, a, a series of, uh, uh, of mounting holes that are going to around the outside of this, this, this component. And start a new sketch. And again, I'm going to use the uh, project geometry tool to just go and uh, reference an edge. So I want this particular hole, the start of this hole, to be on that part edge. And I'll just go ahead, sketch a circle like so, and dimension not only the position but also the diameter. So uh, from there it's 12 millimeters and the diameter of this is going to be 18 millimeters. All right. So I've got the sketch. I'll go ahead and extrude this. Um, flip it in the other direction. And, and, and again, you know, it's, it, this is one of the things where I want it to reference the initial extrusion. So whenever I make a change to the thickness of the part, all the features that I have that could potentially be affected by that change uh, while I'm building out this model, I'm putting those into play uh, while, I'm, while I'm designing. So I'll just say again, uh, show dimensions, that, and we'll just call it plus 5.5 uh, or something like that, I believe it is. Yeah, sure, why not, 5.5. 5. 